What is going on everyone? How how's everyone's quarantine going? Um mine's becoming very boring. Uh anyways, I'll get into that in maybe another video or so. Um It's a little bit better. So, um, I've recently, not really too recently, but I've upgraded some gear and I figured I would do a what's in my camera bag. So, first off, let's start with the camera bag itself. Um, this is from BagSmart. It's got a top part right here. You can store clothes in or whatever you might need to put in there. Good for traveling and good for an everyday bag. I use it as an everyday bag because I wanted to minimize the things that I was carrying around every day. I was carrying around pretty much all of my gear and I, it just wasn't really working out. I wasn't using all of it. So I figured I'd just put in what I needed in. So outside of the top compartment right there where you can store your clothes, a couple shirts, whatever, you have a back zipper right here where you can store up to a 15 inch laptop, I believe it is. Um, I have my gray card slid back there just in case I feel like doing a custom profile usually I'm on a temperature or custom white balance in case I need to do a custom white balance and then on the front you have access to the front of your bag you can just unzip it and right there is everything else but also something that I've recently learned that I like is the side access pocket. Unzip it, pull it out, and right there's your camera. Zip it back up and you're good to go. Also on that pocket you have a place for a drink, bottle of water, whatever you might be carrying. And on the other side you have your place for your tripod or grow pod, whatever you're carrying, or if you're not carrying a tripod, you can use, put another water, water bottle in there. All right, so first, since I pulled it out, I'm using the Canon 90D. Uh, this is my everyday camera now, since it came out, since I purchased it. Great camera, shoots 4K, um, it's, it's a great camera, probably my favorite so far. That is until the R5 comes out, and I don't know, maybe if I can get my hands on that. On the 90D, we have the Sigma Art 18 to 35 lens. This is a very good piece of glass right here, very comparable to the L series glasses. The Sigma Art line is great, uh, definitely gets you nice sharp and crisp photos and video um, it's a pretty heavy piece of glass so be careful don't go dropping it moving on let's start with in the pocket here I have stuff to clean my lenses some lens cleaner little blowy thing and then um, some micro fiber rags, and then the lens pen right there. Just in case I'm out um, and my lens gets something on it, I can clean it off real quick and everything's right there. I don't need to end a shoot because, you know, my lens is dirty and I can't clean it correctly. Um, next, I carry my filters. This is a little um, filter pack 
that I got from Amazon. The company name is Alturo, Alturo Photo. Uh, you can carry up to six filters here. It's got your little slots and comes comes in handy. I'm not sure which um, lenses I'll be using if I switch throughout the day. I can just throw a different lens or a different filter on there in case the sun is too harsh. Next up, I have this little battery pack just in case you know my battery dies the batteries don't last all day so I make sure I keep um, a good bit of extra batteries in my bag in case it dies I can just quick switch it and be on my way no need to end the shoot end the video or whatever because oh, I forgot I don't have batteries so anyways batteries filters the camera um, on to other lenses, you guys might have saw the video on this, it's the Tokina um, 11 to 16 millimeter wide angle lens, it goes down to f2.8, which is pretty good, a lot better than the Canon 10 to 18 lens here that I have on this one, uh, I think that goes down to 4.5 is the lowest f-stop on that which isn't really great on low in low light situations so I decided to uh, go with a better one better one right there next the other lens I carry with me is the nifty 50 uh, this is not the L series version but it is a pretty good lens um, 50 millimeters, I believe it is f1.8, yep, f1.8, um, it does not have image stabilization on it, which is fine, the 90D has a digital image stabilization on there, so it's not really too much of a problem, but also gets you great photos, uh, especially for portraits and uh, taking photos of uh, your kids or any kind of portrait, a Nifty 50 is always good to have. As far as audio goes, I carry the Rode VideoMic Pro. I would like to upgrade to the Pro Plus sometime soon, but this one gets the job done just fine and it fits perfectly in my backpack right there. Um, it's definitely great for audio. Get you some good quality audio without having to have any external recorders or preamps or anything like that. And in case it's rainy, I like to carry the dead cat with me. Um, not in case, not in case it gets rainy. In case it gets windy, uh, the mic picks that up and it just does not sound very good at all. So throw this on there. That'll take care of that for you. That is it guys, um, I've narrowed down, I've downsized my camera bag a lot uh, recently since I got the new camera bag. I just realized I didn't need everything that I was carrying every single day. So, just put the essentials, the basics, and the things that I know I'm most likely going to need if I'm going out on a shoot or if I'm outside vlogging or anything like that. So that is it guys. Not a lot going on in my camera bag here. Not a lot of stuff anymore. So I guess you can call this minimalistic. I don't know. Whatever. But hey, if you guys liked the video, make sure to give it a thumbs up. And as always, make sure to subscribe. And I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace.